G'day everyone, on printables this week there's a printed bearing in various sizes by Jerry. So I'm going to see just how well they print, compare them to some standard ones I have lying around, and maybe we'll see how they hold up. For this week's video I'm going to print out some standard 608 bearings that's in Jerry's model on printables in a couple of layer heights to see if there's any difference in performance. I printed some test ones first to see how they went and they seemed okay in PLA plus but if we want to see how well they stand up I'll print something stronger and the best I have on hand is some plain black ABS. So operation is pretty smooth straight off. Um, comparing the loose ones to the tight ones you can definitely feel a difference. And between the 0.1 and the 0.2 layer height, don't really feel much of a difference. But I think the best ones is the tight 0.1 layer height. So that's the version that I printed in ABS to do some tests of something a little bit more heavy duty. I have some bearings in this filament holder I printed a while ago. So first test is to see how they go in there. They were a really nice fit, they roll okay, and I can kind of tell the difference between these and the metal ones I had in there. My wallet can definitely tell the difference because these come out at around 4 or 5 cents per bearing, while the metal ones I bought that were in there were about $1.20. Um, you can get them cheaper of course, but I had these from another project and they were pretty good quality ones. So that's what I had in this filament holder, but printing that filament holder again now, I would definitely go for these printed bearings. For the filament holder, I'd definitely go for the loose bearings. The tight ones seem like they need a little bit of a run in, and I don't think they'd get the load that they would need on the filament roller. Maybe after a quite a while they would, but to work straight off the bat, I think the loose ones will probably work the best. Let's make this a little more interesting. So up in the garage I have my late 90s vintage Pal Peralta skateboard. And my intention here was to change over all eight bearings on the board but I damaged a couple when I was first trying. Eventually I got some on and it was all good. But a trap for the young players here is the skateboard truck axle is actually 8.5 millimeters when I measured. Uh, and the bearing was actually 8.5 in the center even though it was a standard 608 bearing. The printed bearings came out exactly eight millimeters so that tiny half a millimeter difference was enough to break them when I was trying to get them on. The pressure was perfectly perpendicular to the layer line so it just pushed out the sides of the bearings. Once I got them on, the movement was definitely not as smooth as the metal ones. Uh, in the description on the model in printables, um, it said you know to use a little lubrication if they weren't running too smooth. So I used some spray silicon that I use on a lot of other applications, and they definitely ran smoother for sure. All right, in all honesty, 
In my head, when I saw that this print was going to be the trending model of the week, I was really excited. This was an excuse to have the hero montage. Me back on my skateboard, shredding the park. Yeah, it's been 20 years, but it's like riding a bike, right? How hard can it be? The awkwardness you feel watching this is nothing compared to the awkwardness of being an overweight 40 -year something year old dad looking for any reason to recapture his youth. No one came to see this, so let's get on with the test. I rode the board around, did a few laps, probably around a kilometre maybe. Um, I did a few tricks, attempted some ollies, which I thought would give it a good test of how well those bearings would hold up. Basically, a lot of rolling, a weight of, let's say, over 80 kilos, hitting the concrete hard quite a few times. So, how did they go? Uh, the bearings held up surprisingly well. Um, keep in mind that they were printed yesterday, they haven't been under long-term stress, but the initial results look good. Um, when I took the wheel off I heard a little crack so I think they were fine but I may have broke it trying to get off they were just so tight on the axle pulling them off against the layer lines again it was just too much for the inside one the outside bearing however was still perfect it was actually running smoother than it was when I put it on I don't honestly know how much that sweet spot would last until it gave out and started to degrade, but really my ankles couldn't take any more testing. So the final conclusion for this one, if you need something for mock-ups or even basic non-heavy load, absolutely these bearings are great. I would use them again for sure. If you need to fit them on something tight, maybe not but actual running of these I was really impressed they ran really well if you wanted to you could try with nylon or carbon fiber filament to really test these out that's it for another week thanks to all my new subscribers to the channel if you like this you want to see what's trending next week I'll be back so comment subscribe hit the bell you know what to do all right see you next week